Hello all you TJ Hooker loving cosmonauts, as always I am Cosmic and today we're going to be reviewing Beat Cop which is a new retro pixel art style adventure brought to you by Pixel Crow and published by 11-Bit Studios. Beat Cop is a game that I previewed a while back and it is a game that I've been quietly looking forward to for some time. It reminds me very much of games in a similar fashion to Papers, Please. It is essentially a Beat Cop simulator in part and I absolutely love that fact about it. It is inspired by 80s cop shows and as such has that 80s vibe about it, including the music and the dialogue. The dialogue itself is fantastic. It doesn't really hold back itself in any kind of way. It's very upfront. It's filled with humor, filled with dark humor, dry humor, all kinds of humor essentially. And it's something that is just really a treat all round. Now, I want to start there. Let's start with the story of the game. Now, the story is told in a non linear fashion and it has multiple endings. And it is very much a choice consequences kind of gig. So, as you play the game, various events and story driven moments and non story driven moments moments will occur and depending on the choices and actions that you take different events will play out um, depending on that choice and that will ultimately affect further events down the line it will affect how people feel about you because there's a reputation system involved in the game and then that will directly affect the ending and how you resolve certain matters that I don't want to spoil but I have to say the overall story is told very well I like the fact that it's non-linear I like the fact that there's tons of choice and consequence in there and overall it was a very well told interesting and most importantly for me a very funny story so let's get on to the core gameplay because it's something that you're going to be one doing a lot of and it's something that really has to work in order for people to invest as much time as they need to go through the story and maybe play several times to get multiple endings and it's one of those things that I love beat cop where others might not simply because of the core mechanics they are very reminiscent of papers please um, there is it's more i would say interactive than papers please ever was so as you go through as this beat cop you go down a single block in brooklyn new york city you can go from one end to the other it's 2d side scroller and during that time you have multiple objectives to complete as well as side objectives to complete so you have to be giving a certain amount of tickets out per day and depending on if you obtain or fail that objective that will depend on how much you get paid at the end of that day and it's really important that you have to kind of manage the amount of objectives that you want to achieve because at some point in the game as you progress you're going to be asked to do so much that you will not be able to get all of it done within any given work day because the clock is constantly timing on and as soon as six o'clock hits your shift is over and you go home so it's something that you have to manage very carefully and you have to think about what you want to focus on what you want to prioritize and that will then affect various things in the future now in the game you play as jack kelly and the premise of the game is that you are a detective that's been basically framed for murder and robbery and so you've been demoted while internal affairs investigate you and you've been demoted down to a beat cop and you have to basically patrol the streets once more now mixed in with those core gameplay objectives is the fact that they are directly tied to the story so the sergeant of the police force will completely ride your ass about everything and he pretty much does not like you so he's going to set you objectives like write five or ten parking tickets on this given day if you don't do that then you're going to you know not only have less reputation with the police but it also means that you won't be able to make your pay you won't get paid enough now if you don't get paid enough to meet your alimony paycheck for your ex-wife that will also incur several issues and eventually a game over state. And it's a case of you have to balance all of these different objectives as well as investigate to try and clear your name, investigate various things that are going on at any given time. There's multiple factions in the game that are all vying for attention and all these different crimes going on. So you have the mafia, you have you know street gangs, you have political interests, and there's just so much going on at every given day that to be honest, to be able to really appreciate how much Beat Cop has in terms of its content, you're likely going to need to play through it at least twice. It's certainly something that 
for me, worked very well because the core mechanics are very reminiscent of Papers, Please. So as you patrol the streets and, you know, a crime is underfoot, so say that a thief sta steals something from the um, electrical store, then that's, that thief will start running away. You have to catch them, and then you have to use the bottom bar to basically select what action you want to take. So if you want to use handcuffs, then you have to get close enough to use handcuffs, and then you click the handcuffs. If you're going to be writing a ticket, you have to go up to the car, press, you know, the car right write the ticket, check the car if you need to check it for tires or broken taillights, that kind of thing. And then you have to write the ticket in a correct manner or else you'll get penalized for that. On top of that, you also have to do things like call in for backup, call in for tow trucks. And it is very much, like I said, like Papers, Please. You have to go, it's a story adventure that mixes the monotony of the day-to-day -day job of a beat cop and blends the two together to create something that is very unique, like Papers, Please did. Now, while I think that is certainly, from a subjective point, a lot of fun, I have to say that objectively, it while it does work, it executes it very well. It's really easy to play the game, really easy to pick up and play, and you can have a lot of fun out of it. Some people probably won't enjoy those mechanics, and it's a very much a case of if you didn't enjoy Papers, Please, you probably will not enjoy Beat Cop, because it is very much in a similar fashion. Yes, there are things that have changed. There's multiple locations instead of sitting in an office, but it's the premise and the overall idea are still fundamentally the same. There are a couple of problems inherent to Beat Cop. I think that for the first is that there do occasional bugs turn up every now and again, nothing game-breaking. I've played this through twice and I've never experienced a bug that is game-breaking, but they do happen on the rare occasion. Second is that I have to say that the problem with the in-game objectives is that sometimes there can be an objective on the notepad where it doesn't really specify what you should be doing. Um, and what I mean by that is I don't want to be handheld. I don't want like an objective marker on the map. I don't want to be told exactly where to go because I want to investigate and I want to find out by myself. But there are certain cases where you should be on the, let's say on the lookout for something, for example, um, there's an idea where there's this case where this gang is basically going to steal car tires, right? And you have no idea the general sense of where that is going to take down or what time of day because things are tied to the time of day as well. So you, it doesn't really inform you about when this is going to happen or where it's going to happen or just a kind of general hint about what you should be doing at that time. And there are several objectives like that throughout the game where you just kind of unsure about what you're supposed to exactly be doing and that does can cause a little bit of frustration in that regard the next point is a little bit of a subjective one but it is something that people should be aware of if they're considering buying beat cop the game is set in the 80s okay so there is a lot of go going on in society at that time in new york city there's a lot of racism, there's a lot of issues involved with things and subjects that make big people uncomfortable. I had no problem with it per se because I understood that this is the time period that it's set in and the game is supposed to be full of dark humour. It's not supposed to make you laugh out loud a lot of the time, but it's supposed to make you sit there and appreciate the, the subtext to the joke. And... I have to say that that is very much the core essence of the story and the characters in Beat Cup. A lot of the characters that you meet, they really are not likable. There's not many likable characters in this game. And if you're, frankly, looking for something where you want to be a goody two-shoes, you can't be that. Because this cop, Jack Kelly, as it, when he gets demoted to a BB cop, you have to be a little bit dirty. And that's just the way it is. To be able to progress correctly and to be able to get the information that you need to clear your name and to be able to basically progress effectively to the point where, you know, the because it's really hard, it gets to a point where it's really hard to maintain the alimony payments and the payments for all these other things just solely off your police salary by writing tickets. On top of that, it's getting more difficult to write the quota t for tickets because you have a multitude of other police work that needs doing. So you have to kind of mix and match and sometimes maybe take a bribe or you know sometimes do the odd job for the mafia or one of the gangs 
and you have to be a little bit dirty in that regard. Now, that might put some people off because there's a lot of harsh language. There is some really dark themes in the game. There's some really uncomfortable scenes, but it is something that you need to be aware of when thinking about purchasing this. For me, though, I absolutely loved it from start to finish, even with its minor flaws. I have to say that I'm one person who absolutely loves cop shows. I love 80s cop shows. I love 90s cop shows. I love 20 cop shows. You know, it's one of those things that uh, you can sit me down with any old given detective or police drama and I will sit there and happily watch it from start to finish and feel like I've had a good time, even if it was goddamn awful. I have no problem with that. I always find shows like that fairly charming in their own right, even if they're awful. And Beat Cop, I'm going to say the same about that. I think that it's a great game. It's executed really well. The core mechanics work is intended. It's a lot of fun. It's interesting. And ultimately, it's very charming. It's something that you can just sit there um, for 15 bucks and have a really good time with. There's plenty of content in there. Um, there's a lot of humor that's funny. There's a lot of humor that makes you wince a little bit every now and again. But it's something that you can really easily get to grips with. It's easy to get into. It's easy to play. And it becomes very immersive and engrossing into the story. And it's something that, frankly, as an indie game goes it's well worth 15 bucks. You will easily get your money's worth out of that and then some. It's well worth picking up in my opinion. I highly recommend it. And so that is my review of Beat Cop. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Let me know what your thoughts are on the video in the comment section below. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, share on social media if you would, that would be great. And as always, I will see you next time. Next time.